Welcome back, Mzansi. One of the greatest gifts is the passion for reading. Palisa got to visit Charles Mugwele and the Men's Reading Paradise to share a dose of care with them as they share their love for reading with their local community on a weekly basis. There are those who care for others, ask for nothing in return, but may need some care themselves. If you feel that someone in your community deserves some recognition for all they do, then Pinado cannot wait to hear from you. Simply reply to the Afternoon Express Facebook, Instagram and Twitter pages and tell us who they are, what they do for the community and why they should receive some care with the hashtag PinadoSA and the hashtag a dose of care. They can stand a chance of winning a dose of care to the value of 5,000 Rand from Pinado. Afternoon Express will then add another 5,000 Rand towards the charity or nominee of choice so they too can share in some care. Don't miss the Pinado hashtag a dose of care competition running from the 1st of August 2022 right through to the 5th of October 2022 right here on Afternoon Express. T's and C's apply. You know what they say, today's readers are tomorrow's leaders. So I've decided to travel all the way to Pulukwane to find out how the Mint Reading Paradise makes sure that their learners are tomorrow's future leaders. The reason why I started Men's Reading Paradise was to afford children the opportunity to read, uh, the opportunity to afford different reading materials for free, especially here in our community because we had a shortage of libraries, the shortage of reading, and I wanted to impact children to ensure that they are able to read. So I decided to use the shack that was at home to accommodate the kids. Then I used social media to collect books, ask for donations, and they did deliver. So I think it was in 2019 we were having almost 15 kids who were attending and now we have almost 50 kids. Ever since we have the book club, kids are no longer gallivanting in the streets. They are safe here every Saturday. Uh, they have something to look forward to every weekend to say, okay, it's Saturday, 10 o'clock, we are having a book session, we can read, we can learn. Every Saturday we have new stories, so that's the impact the book club is giving them. I have a super dedicated team, a team that is compassionate, a team that is dedicated to the club, a team that loves kids because that's a basic requirement to be here to work at Men's Reading Paradise. And they give without expecting anything in return. They love kids and they love books. A dose of care to me means sharing the little that we have with those who have nothing at all. It means uh, giving hope to the hopeless, uh, encouraging those who are already doing something to do even more. I volunteer as a reading facilitator because I love reading. I love books. And then uh, I realized that we have a shortage of reading materials in this community. So, because I already love helping, it was easier to just be involved with an initiative like this so that we can actually give back and then at the same time uplift the kids. A dose of care to me means being able to immerse yourself into what you're doing. At first, I grew up in this very same community. Even I had to struggle. So. Now I have an opportunity to make somebody else's life a little bit better. So giving for me, it, it's almost at the center of everything that I do. Now it's time for me to reveal the real reason I've decided to visit Charles and the Men's Reading Paradise. Let's go and share the good news. Charles today has reminded me that we are responsible for nurturing the future generation and that is exactly what yourself, Martha and the entire team at Men's Reading Paradise is doing. <laughs> so much so that you've inspired us through the work that Panado does to grant you a dose of care to the value of 5,000 Rand! <laughs> It's, it's actually great, simply because we'll, we'll now be able to have a little bit more of the things that we always wanted to do, so this should be a great help. We're moving from, well, rocks to these, as you can see, so yeah, it's going to be a, of great help. I'm pretty sure the kids are very thankful as I am. <laughs> I believe you've nominated Mint Reading Paradise to receive a second dose of care. Why is that? 
Well, simply because the club itself runs on donations. And so this would be of great help, really, in, in terms of uh, adding a little bit of more of the materials that we need going forward. So it should be actually wonderful. And on that note, I think it's time for us to call up Usis Martha. Martha, come and join us. <laughs> now, Martha, the incredible work that you've done has inspired Charles so much so that he has encouraged Afternoon Express to double up on all of the care that we're being able to give. And your incredible reading paradise is also receiving a dose of care to the value of 5,000 rand. <laughs> I believe that you've decided to choose chairs, books and tables to be able to be your dose of care. How do you believe that these materials will help the kids? They're going to help us expand uh, the activities that we used to do. We're going to do more. We used to do only storytelling, reading. So now we're going to uh, move more to writing, to drawing, to painting. It's going to be fun. Well, thanks to Panado and Afternoon Express, we were able to deliver this dose of care to this much-needed community. And I also want to say thank you so much to you, Martha, and to you, Charles, for all of the contributions that you're doing, helping out these future leaders. Thank you. We hold the keys to others' futures, and as we got to see here today, by sharing knowledge, it gives them the keys to unlock their own destiny.